Watching the Rugrats nowadays, it's like stepping into a time machine back to the 90s. The bright colors, catchy themes, and quirky characters all contribute to the show's unique charm. It was a show that was both heartwarming and hilarious, and it never failed to put a smile on my face. One of the things that made the Rugrats so special was its ability to capture the essence of childhood. It was a show that celebrated the joy and wonder of being a child, and it did so with whimsy and humor that was far beyond its time. The show would go on to be a major success, becoming Nickelodeon's top flagship show for years. And that is until it was beaten by a very unassuming yellow sponge. But more on that later. Good morning and good evening to you, beautiful handsome beans out there. My name's Alpha Bean, and we're about to get into another vintage toy. So go ahead and grab your... Scissors? Nah, man. A baby's gotta do what a baby's gotta do. And for that, we use screwdrivers. <laughs> but before any of that, before we get into it, let's go ahead and check out the bag. The bag itself, all the way from the year 2000, does look a little beat up. To remember, that was over 22 years ago. Feeling old yet? Or should I say, all grown up? Ah? Ah? On the front of the bag, near the upper left, you have the beautiful Rugrats logo, hyphenated with the Nickelodeon logo right on top, letting you know right away what we're dealing with. The bag itself is accented in shades of blue, very reminiscent of Tommy's shirt. And in the death center of it all, we have three titular characters. Not all of them, but enough to get you excited. We got Tommy, Angelica, Chucky, and Dill. Now I can see you guys out there wondering, Alpha, why this toy? I know you like vintage treasures, but what specifically about this one makes it so unique and worthy of showing off? Ooh, you don't even know. You don't even know. I'm a teacher though. Oh yeah. I'm a teacher. One way or another. Sorry. <laughs> Putting a whole new spin on screwing someone over, huh? Don't worry, I got it. I got it. Oh, the value! Look, if you're really upset about the whole value of the situation, this is the wrong channel. At the end of the day, I will do what needs to be done because a baby's gotta do what a baby's gotta do. Ah, ah, milk everywhere! Ooh, this bag came with extra goodies. Now, the question is, should I reveal it to you? Maybe a little, a little quick. Oh, oh, did you pause it? Did you pause it? Let's try to. Oh, oh. Gee, Alpha, you sure are being cryptic about this whole thing. Well, yes, but there's a reason. When you've opened up as many meal toys as you and I have collectively opened together on this channel, <laughs> you start to pick up on little similarities. See, back in the day, they had this thing about making all the toys interconnected and, and, and make one big thing. And this Rugrats toy, oh, Burger King really went out of their way. Because not only do we get an awesome Rugrats toy that builds upon itself, Check it out. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I've been sitting on this toy for the better of, what, a year and a half? And I've completely forgot all the little details specifically because I wanted to be surprised for this. And I'll be frank, I am not disappointed. The toy depicts the Pickles family dog, ooh, that was a mouthful, running around what looks like a tree stump in mid-stride, looking like a good boy, a good doggo. And he's oddly detailed for a kid's toy. And looking a little bit closer, you could actually see the smaller details, like the wrinkles around his eyes, the pads of his feet, his little dog dimples, and if you're really a stickler, if you look right under his tongue, you could see a little inkling of gold from the collar on his name tag. The tree stuff itself is looking, you know, very, very tree. Has a little, a lot of, a lot of tree-like 
things. <laughs> the colors presented harken back to something of a Simpsons mentality. With a lot of muted colors, dark purples, things of that nature, making certain objects pop. Speaking of pop, it looks like alongside the stump we have what looks like two gerbils. Maybe? Maybe groundhogs? Can't tell. I mean, those teeth. I guess they could be purple beavers. Maybe two angry beavers. No, no, no. That's another show. I wonder if they ever made meal toys for those things. The toy itself is a little hefty with a wide base to make sure that you could build upon it. But as we've learned by now, comrades, no toy isn't exactly what it seems. Let's see what this cookie can really do. Alright, now for the moment we've all been waiting for. Let's hope this toy still works. Let me just, uh, just give it one of these. You know, that's safety. A twist. Uh oh. Alright, time to consult the booklet. What am I doing wrong? Wind the knob on the side of the trunk and save Spike chase the gophers. Gophers! Okay, well, that's one mystery solved. Right, let's see. Wind it. I mean, it kind of works. <laughs> As sad as it is to admit, this does happen sometimes with vintage treasures. I mean, it is plus 20 years old. Sometimes gears fail, rubber bands snap, and mechanics on the inside just don't want to work anymore. But fear not, comrades, for our purposes, we can still check out this toy because giving it a good twist will still spin it up so we, we can kind of understand what happens here. Examining the toy in action, we see this really cute scene of Spike dodging and weaving around the stump, possibly chasing his tail, and possibly living his best life. Who can really say with a dog? Though to spice things up, I do appreciate the fact that the gerbils or hamsters or whatever periodically stick their head out as Spike runs around in an endless circle. The whole scene itself is oddly charming and indicative of that childhood wonder, of just going out and frolicking through the woods. <laughs> And with all the detail placed between the gophers, Spike, and even the stump itself, I gotta admit, I'm a little bummed that I can't see this baby in full action going, doing its thing without my little help. But you know what? Sometimes we all need a little help. But despite all that, the Rugrats hold a very unique and treasured place in my heart. And I am excited to be able to share this and whatever comes next with all of you. Till then been inspired. Let's go out for a run. Oh god. 